Hi everyone, so today I'm going to try out this new um, envelope box set from LDRS Creative or Little Darlings. Um, I'll have links in the description box, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchase items to those links. Um, so this is linked, I'll link it to HSN if uh, LDRS has it on their site yet, I'll link it there too. Um, so if you're familiar, again, if you're looking on <laughs> HSN for their items, I'll have the links, but it, let's say later on you're just looking for something, Little Darlings, you want to see what they have. Sometimes if you type in LDRS or Little Darlings, it'll show you different search results. So I would say look it up through both of them, but um, I'll have a little note here, which one will give you more results on HSN site. Um, but either way, so this makes um, an A2 envelope box because um, LDRS had put out these cute little um, cards and actually I'll grab it in the next uh, thing here. The giftables and they're nice and thick because you can put something in there in that cute little um, blister pack I'll show it to you in just a minute when I grab some paper. And also you can use this for any A2 size card or, you know, or smaller or however you want to use it. That is nice and thick, right? A lot of times we like to embellish things and um, you want a nice big envelope. I don't think I would send this in the mail other than handing it to somebody or putting it in a box along with a gift or with a, whatever else you're sending. Um, just because it probably gets smashed. I mean... It's paper, you know, <laughs> with that thickness there. So, uh, but that's just my personal um, opinion. I don't know. We can try it, I suppose. Um, so what we're going to need is one of the base, two of the top flap or top and bottom flap, and then two of the side flaps. It depends on how you want to assemble this box, what's top and bottom, what's side. But um, so basically two of this, two of this, and one of this. It does say that this larger one measures about 7.8 by 6.5 inches. So you're going to need a machine that can cut something at least that big. Um, I would assume, you know, the big shot, those kind of things should be able to do it because I feel like it should. I'll have to check. Um, but yeah, so anything that could cut your uh, base at that size. So what I'm going to do is grab some paper and I'll grab the card to show you kind of what this is meant for and then I'll be back. Okay, so unfortunately my card walked away on me. <laughs> I think Miranda might have uh, gotten into here. Um, so what I have is a different card that has like a, a thickness to it. This is probably almost an inch thick, right, with that flower on there. So I grabbed some pink paper. This is just Recollections paper. This is not something I would recommend because it's very thin, as you can see. Just your standard Recollections paper from Michaels. But something heavier weight is always better. I know at Hobby Lobby they have um, expanded like their heavyweight cardstock. It used to be like white, black, and cream, but now they have even their bright colors or whatever um, in that. And I like using that because it's inexpensive and it's pretty good. But again... Um, you know, I always say to buy the best paper you can afford. So I think that one's a good value. Um, okay, so this is, like I said, super thin paper, but we need one of this. And then, oh, and then a couple of these other ones. So I think you're going to need two sheets of eight and a half. I think if you had a 12 by 12 piece of paper, you can probably get it all done in one piece of paper. Um, but I'm just using eight and a half by 11 because that's normally what people have. Yeah, because even at that, and if it was 12 inches, it'd be, you still have another inch here, and then, of course, three and a half more inches. So I think you probably could get it all in one 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to trim this off clearly so I can get this guy. Um, and so when I come back, I'll have one of this, two of this, and two of this. All right, I'll be right back. Hey. Yeah, so actually I have quite a bit of that eight and a half paper. So again, on a 12 by 12, you can get the whole thing. On eight and a half, you're gonna need like a page and a half. And <clears throat> so I'm just looking at the instructions. So of course the die came in this way. So this is the rough side. So I'm gonna put the rough side facing up. And so there's that. And then we have these flaps that go here. So there's a, a lot of overlap. Actually, it's gonna feel really sturdy, I suppose, now that I think about it, because we have all this piece that goes into these pieces, you know? So I'm turning them all upside down. So this is a nice side, rough side, it's facing me. And it just says it here, A flaps to B side panels. And I'm gonna use wet glue, because that's what I like to use. Maybe not the best option on this kind of paper, because it's so, like, kind of wrinkly. But um, that's gonna be what I'm going to do. I am gonna score it a little bit, though. I know it doesn't say that, it just says to adhere them and then do whatever it is. But I want to not fuss with that when I have this other piece. I just want, kind of want to see where everything is. So I'm going to f score at least these parts. And depending on your machine, you're going to get deeper scores or not. On this one, 
I ran it through the tangerine. I can see them. They're not super deep. Um, but they're there. So there's that. Okay. Just so I can have it ready. Oh, you can also score these guys too, I suppose, if you want. But that's not as big a deal. I just kind of want this to sit in here. And also so I can see kind of where they're going to. <laughs> side to side there. And, um, yeah. Just adhere this to the inside. And then we're going to do the tabs. So again, you know, I'm also going to fold this too. Again, just so I can do it now instead of later. Yeah. And get your glue pretty much right to the edges because of the way these are created. I'm going to rub that with my finger, which I normally don't do, but I did for this. <laughs> Um, because it does have like a raw edge there and I just want to make sure everything is going to seal really nice on the edge here. Alright, so you see I haven't bone folded anything or anything, I'm just going to lay this down. I'm just eyeballing it left to right, it might need to go a little bit more to the left. And you can look around this side and just make sure it's nice and squared up. And I'll do the same thing for all the sides. So that's that. I'll do the same thing for this bottom. And then for the side flaps. Again, same thing. I'll just make sure that's on there really nice. And matching it up. Again, kind of using that score line, minding that top score line that kind of goes against the um, outer edge here. And then left to right, right, where this is going to be folded. And I'll hold them down until they look nice. You can see right there, I need to really get that stuck. There we go. Okay, I'll go around and do the last two, and I'll be right back. So you have something that looks kind of like this. I'm good. And then now we're going to fold in our little tabs and stick those down. So um, clearly these go to this side here. This is actually really super cute. And sometimes people ask me um, to make things from scratch and you can definitely do something like this, but sometimes people like to have a die that makes it quick. Um, and you know, that's kind of what this is here for. So, oh, look at that. And if you want it, it reminds me of like a takeout box. Um, you know, if you want to decorate this at all or do some um, die cutting into it before you edit it here, you know, on the little flaps, maybe um, it's not as deep as the uh, diamond press um, envelope liners, but I think you can probably just put it on here and get a little design on here still like the insert or whatever, however you want to do it, I think it'd be very cute. Uh, but of course you would do that before you put it together, right? The little flaps that you have in your hand. And so here we go. So again, um, it says, you know, fold flaps inward where we're doing this part actually first. So let's go, let's do that. Let's do part two. Sorry, I was going to skip ahead to talking about if you want it to open on the side or where you want it to open. I'm going to do two at a time. If you have little clippies, you can have little clippies that'll help you hold it. I'm just going to hold it by hand because I'm using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and it works pretty quickly. Sorry, I had to bring it over here closer to me. You can see what I'm doing. There and there. And I'm just going to hold it till it sets up. And the same thing on the other side. I'll just put glue on both those tabs and hold it against the little wall there until it sets up. Yeah, I do want to mention before I do this, so I didn't bone fold anything, but if you really wanted to lay this flat and bone fold it, you know, so that's like this, then do that before you do any of this because <laughs> once it's up, you can't do anything. But again, I had scored it to get it going, but I didn't bone fold it. So if you want to do that, definitely do it before you um, glue the tabs there. Okay, so this is my last set of tabs again. I'll just put the glue here, glue here, and stick it down. You guys, you know what? And I almost did it too. 
<laughs> I was going to glue these in, but you're not going to glue those in yet. And I was going to mention also, you know how I trained it to be scored up? I think that's a smart thing to do because you're not going to have a chance to do that again um, just on this part when you're folding it up to get them here. So if you want to score it, I would definitely take a bone folder and score it before you really do any of this other stuff. So, okay, so that's all we're doing actually, just those two sides. So you're folding up these three sides and that's what it says there. Fold up three side panels along the score lines and here respective corner flaps, right? So just those, we're leaving this open because you need something open for your envelope. Now, um, you know, I kind of think like if you want to leave this top one open, but they're basically saying you need to leave this side open. So this would come in like this, this is in here and this is in here. And then we have this piece that's going to slide in and out, basically, right? You know, and I suppose it's up to you if you want to leave this open. But then you have to leave this whole top part open, so you would glue it down here. hope that makes sense. Glue all this and not do those two sides. But I think the point is that you're going to tuck it in there, so... Um, we're going to glue this other part. Okay, so I'm going to do what it says, <laughs> but I am looking at it and I thought, well, maybe I can cut these tabs off and then this will slide in and out. But really it says to secure this after you're done. So it's more of like a gift box because it's going to get basically torn open, right? Um, so either way, I'm just going to leave these on here. And I, like I said, I was gluing them down. I thought, oh, no, 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 I had to back up. So... Uh, let's not do that. So I am going to, like it says, glue this down. And I'm putting glue on here because I don't really know where it needs to go. You can kind of eyeball that. There, there, and then this part goes down here. So I'll put a little glue on here. And to, to hear that, because I'm using a wet glue, and if you, if you use the dry glue, I'm going to put my hand in here and turn this over and just make sure that I'm getting that adhered and glued together down there. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this down until it sets up. So I have my hand inside the box, just kind of holding it down. Okay, just have my hand in here, still kind of smoothing it out, just making sure, making good contact. Super cute, I love the design, I love the style of this. And then again, it says, <laughs> put your card in, let's say it's this card. Aw, uh, yeah, definitely fits an A2 size card. Really, Look how pretty that looks. So. For me, I don't want to destroy my envelope, and I'm sure there's a way to not do that, but um, if you want to cut these flaps off, you know, you can do that, or you can just tuck them in, and then tuck this whole thing in, right? And it does say to secure after you do this, so I don't know if that means to glue it down or what, but I would just leave it something like that. So what I'm going to do is, let's say these are tucked away. Let's pretend we don't have these. See, I kind of like that better without the... Things. Or we can glue them. Oh, that's another thing we can do. Since I've messed with this, but I wouldn't do it otherwise. You can just glue this down. Like I said, it does say to secure it. Secure the flap, the fourth flap after inserting the card, but I don't know that I would glue it down. I think I would just leave it there and hopefully, you know, um, your friend can open it up. Or, like I said, glue it down the other way and leave this part unglued, the tabs up here. And then you would just do something different with them, kind of like what I'm doing here. All right. So a couple different ways to use it. But either way, it does its uh, job as far as that it's a nice thick envelope and you have a nice thick card in there. Oh, you know, All I right, should guys, give you the uh, final measurements. It is uh, one inch thick. So it's one inch by um, just under six inches and just over four and a half. So a little bit bigger than four and a half, a little bit under six inches. Hey guys, so, you know what? Um, right. Quick edit. I'm going to make another envelope. And I just started it. I was already putting it together. I used the brightest color in the world. Because it's such a cute envelope. And I know I kept saying, oh, you can do this. Or, you know, I'm trying to give ideas of how to use it a little bit differently. And I was like, you know what? I might as well show you guys. Because I think the video is pretty short anyway. Um, so I'm just putting another one together. Same way. I just, uh, the idea of tearing this apart, you know, um, for your recipient to open it. I don't know, and maybe that's not the intention because it does say secure. Secure could be lots of different things. I'm going to secure mine with a uh, sticker, so that's my secure. But hold on, let me get this lined up a little better. Eh, we'll do it real quick. Okay, so we're back here, and instead of making it so that we open it on the side here, just like, you know, pretty much, uh, it's super cute. <laughs> I love this little envelope, it's so cute. Um, I'm going to do a little bit differently. So. 
what I'm going to envision is more of a regular envelope, and then we're going to secure it with a, uh, a sticker, a seal, or just tuck it in, I suppose, just like the other one had said. But So I'm going to do this differently. I'm probably going to end up cutting these pieces off, but for now I'm just going to mold them in. So what I'm going to do is do it this way, like a regular envelope, okay? And I'm going to leave this top part doing its own thing. So uh, I'm going to bring this guy in, and I'm going to bring this guy in. And you know what, let me fold these flaps out for now just to get them out of the way. So I can hold this, right? So we're gonna bring these two guys together. Just like the earlier, but on these portions. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what I'm doing so I can hold it down. So I'm gluing the tabs on the longer sides um, at the bottom here. And we're not gonna use these top ones. Um, so I'm just doing it a little bit different because I think that way it'll be cute and it, it doesn't have to get destroyed or opened up in a in an odd way, you know? Uh, so let me put this here. So again, I followed the instructions on the, um, the thing there, which is normally what I do in reviews because a lot of times if I veer from that, people are like, well, why'd you do that? Or why do you, you know, the thing says to do this and I get it all the time. So I always, when I do a review, <laughs> if it's something like that, I stick to the instructions unless, you know, there are no instructions and of course we're, we're winging it. But, um, so I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to glue it this way, okay? And then basically I'm going to get rid of these. Or we can glue them down like I did before, which might be better just so you have a nice finished edge, you know. So I'll do that before I glue this down, just because it's easier. So I'm going to take these flaps here. Again, we can just cut them off, but I'm going to glue them down to themselves, right? Like this. So I'm going to hold that until they're set up, and I'll be right back. And we're ready for this. So cute. Okay. So I'm going to put the glue on the edges here because I can see it pretty much covers that whole edge. How high up, I'm not sure, but we'll do it like that. Pretty good. And just like I did before, I'm going to turn this over and square it up. I'm just kind of pushing it in so I know it's nice and square because I can't really see from underneath. I'm going to lift this up here, just square it up, and apply pressure. My hand is, again, inside the box, <laughs> and I'm just keeping it down so that those flaps touch each other and they'll uh, set up nice. Okay, I'll be back. With this glue, it doesn't take long. I'm just trying to make sure you kind of pick it up after it's stuck a little bit and just make sure you're nice and squared up. Super cute. And then here we go, and I would pop a sticker on here or something like that. So now when your recipient gets it, all you have to do is open it up and you have your nice thick card in there. Let me see, I'm sure I have other ones laying around, but I'll just grab this one again. Look at that. And it's in there. Super adorable. Uh, yeah, so I just want to give you a different way of using it. Again, if you wanted to just tuck it in, I suppose you could do that too. Um, but I would keep it on the outside, to be honest. Right? Looks a little awkward that way. So I would put this out here. Again, a little sticker. Ooh, a hot seal. Ooh, a hot wax seal. Maybe that'd be nice. Um, but however you like to do it. So just a couple different options. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have the links in the description box. Let me know how you use yours, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.